I hear in the clinic just about every day, oh, I've got poor posture, I sit like this, my, I've got rounded shoulders, I just, I know my posture's not very good, I need to be better, I have bad posture. So I wanna know from you, do you care and work on your posture? If so, comment below with yes. If not, comment below with no and tell me why, I'm curious. Hey, I'm Dr. RJ Burr of Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center, and I'm here to tell you that there's no such thing as a perfect posture, but posture also does matter. So if you're on one side of the spectrum where you're like, oh, posture, it's all about that, you have to be in upright position at all times, that's not necessarily right. And if you're also on the other side and you say, oh, well, who gives a crap about posture, it doesn't matter whatsoever, that's wrong too. It's actually right in between. You see, the thing is that some people can sit in a position or be in whatever position for a long period of time and never have problems. However, some people that they can't be in certain positions and are gonna have issues. So it just depends. But more and more what I see the underlying theme is not so much that sitting's a problem. Sitting is a normal thing. It's not inherently bad, but if you think about what a lot of us do on a daily basis, we just sit a lot. So it's that accumulated posture is that what becomes the problem, not because sitting is inherently bad. We're just there all the time. Now, yes, I do recommend for people that sit to use some sort of simple devices like a lumbar roll to put behind their back to help with an upright position, but that's only if I test them with it and it's helpful for them. But overall, the underlying theme is that there is no perfect posture and your best posture is your next posture. So what does that mean? Just for everyone, we just need to move more often and have a lot of variability in our lives. So here are three tips. <laughs> for you to add more movement in your daily life to break up some of those static postural positions. Tip number one, get off your ass. Seriously, if you've been sitting for more than a half hour, just stand up, take a break, go for a walk, do something, just break that cycle. We don't wanna be in positions schlepping away at our computer for hours on end because that accumulation is what can cause problems. So for tip number two to help you do that is get yourself a reusable water bottle and refill it. Drink more water throughout the day. Why? Because one, hydration is healthy. But number two, when you drink more water, what does that do? You have to pee more often, which means you have to get off your ass and use the bathroom. So you have you break up those postural cycles. Tip number three, let's say you don't have a few minutes to stand up and go walk around. Well then what you can do instead is pull out your iTelephone, Android, Blackberry, walkie talkie or telegraph, set an alarm on there for 30 to 45 minutes. Or if you have a Fitbit or some other device, set a timer on there to remind you to simply stand up and take a micro break. So what's a micro break? You stand up and get out of the posture that you've been into open up in the opposite direction, open up those shoulders and hands, look back toward the ceiling, take a deep breath, breathe out, bend back a little bit more, simply sit back down, reset your phone. So there are your three tips. And look, I get it, they're stupid simple strategies, but you know what, sometimes the most simple ingredients can make the best meals when they're applied correctly. So sometimes the simplest of tips, when applied correctly, can make the biggest change. So give these strategies a whirl, try them out, and see if your day-to-day -day becomes more comfortable as a result of doing these. And please, let me know how it works out for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like or a heart, and make sure that you're following or subscribed to stay up to date with our content.